The only thing worse than winter is shoveling snow. Have you ever been doing the necessary evil chore of snow removal and thought there has to be a better way? Even though humans have dealt with snow removal since before the beginning of recorded history and with a nice ice age in the middle there, might I add, apparently nobody has asked the relatively simple question I had, which was, why hasn't somebody made a device that can shovel, plow, is cost-effective, quiet, is eco-friendly, easy to use, and takes up almost no space? I mean, how difficult could that be, right? Well, ask no more. Introducing the Splow, the shovel and plow all in one. The Splow is the most versatile snow removal product on the planet. The interchangeable and space-saving snow removal device that also saves you time, energy, and money. Not to mention back aches. Tired of old, stale, standard shovels not doing the trick? Now there's the Splow, the all-in-one shovel you can use anywhere. Use it on your sidewalk, your parking spot, Sam Kennison's parking spot. <coughs> Now that I've done the sales pitch voice. Hi friends, I'm Red Arnold. Red like my hair, Arnold like Schwarzenegger, only not like Schwarzenegger. I certainly don't pass his presidential fitness test. In all honesty, I wasn't able to pass it back in the fourth grade when it came out. And doggone it, that's okay. Because that's reality. I'm pretty much now the median American age with the median American physique, which means I'm not as physically fit as I once was or should have been at least one point in time, but let's face it, I'm from Wisconsin. You know, beer, cheese, Jeffrey Dahmer, and snow, which of course means snow shoveling. But due to my stellar physique, it means that snow shoveling is more difficult than it used to be. Now I'm six foot two ten, and shoveling can be difficult for somebody my size. But what about people like my parents, your parents, grandparents, and people affected by other factors like disabilities, fixed income, or renting that forces them to remove snow with no assistance other than a shovel and what nature gave them, or didn't give them. I went looking for a solution to ease my burden of snow removal, but I couldn't find it. Now, there are other rather brutish things that you can use, like giant push plows and snow blowers. And snow blowers are handy if you had that 100-year blizzard that drops two feet of snow on you in a single day. But usually you're only saddled with a few, albeit pesky, inches, so you generally use a snowblower only because, even though it's just a few inches, using a regular snow shovel simply takes too much time and energy, and a large hand-pushed snow plow has a single non-versatile use. I searched the vast reaches of the internet to find a product to solve this swarm of snow removal problems. I was surprised to find out that there was nothing that met my needs. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise because now I present to you the Splow. So how does it work? The Splow acts as a plow to easily push snow out of your path using the human body's natural center of gravity to do the work. Like Goldilocks, too high, you can't do anything. Too low, you hurt your back. In the middle, just right. If the snow piles up too high onto your shovel head, you simply use the middle handle to throw the excess snow out of your way and continue plowing. It's that simple. The Splow in its full plow form is used to quickly remove snow from your property. Set it down and push it like you were pushing a stroller. It's that easy. The middle handle is adjustable to fit your personal height, arm length, and center of gravity. It can also be used whether you're left-handed or right-handed. We've all hit that dreaded, hidden, uneven sidewalk crack. Now you don't have to worry about it. The Splow puts a buffer between the handle and your body, especially if you're using your full body weight to push the snow, which increases the distance between the handle and your body. Otherwise, the Splow works at your belt line, much like the seat belt in your automobile. So even if you do hit an obstacle and the handle is at your belt line, just like lying on a bed of nails, all the force is dispersed throughout the entire T-handle instead of one spot, so there's no discomfort or injury. When you finish your plowing work and need to do touch-up work on your stairs, porches, or other tricky areas, you can convert the Splow into a standard snow shovel in seconds. Simply pull the linchpin from the top handle, place the linchpin into its standby holder, which will have two holes specially made for it, and pull the handles out of their holes. Take both T-handle rods, which have a comfort grip handle padding, and place them into their standby holders. These will actually be snap-ins and will be positionable in multiple directions to fit your needs. Now, without adjusting the middle handle to its resting position, you can use the shovel with the middle handle in its upright and working position to do most shoveling jobs without having to bend over and hurt your back. But, if you need the leverage of a standard snow shovel, you can still use it like a standard shovel without taking down the middle handle. You simply throw the snow away from you. However, if you do need to take the middle handle down either for storage or to get it out of your way so it doesn't hit your chest when you're throwing it over your non-dominant shoulder, which surprisingly and unbeknownst to me before I made this is a maneuver that's rarely used, you can. But nonetheless, you simply move the middle handle into its collapsed storage position and now you have the complete functionality of a standard shovel for less than the cost of a plow shovel alone. 
All you have to do is pull the combined linchpin at the elbow base of the middle handle at the middle joint, pull up on the adjustable middle handle and slide it into its new placement. Push it down into its resting position parallel with the shovel shaft and replace the linchpin. It's that simple. And the best part is that every feature of the Splouse functionality is designed to be utilized while wearing thick winter gloves. Now you don't have to break stride and suffer frozen appendages to be able to do what you need to do during Old Man Winter's Wrath. With standby holders on the shovel shaft for the T-handle rods and the chains connecting both linchpins to the shovel itself, you won't drop small loose parts into the snow, rendering them difficult to find. Not to mention having to wait until spring to find them. A really unfortunate incident if you're a dog owner who deals with the plethora of landmines after the first spring melt. Snowblowers are clunky, expensive, take up garage, shed, or any other valuable space. If they have a two-stroke engine, you have to mix the oil and gas just right or risk damaging your expensive piece of proprietary machinery. They belch exhaust and smoke, need to be tuned up frequently. You have to go through the hassle of having it transported to the shop and back for maintenance that costs money. That in itself is a wrangle, whether you have to take the time to schedule the shop to throw it on one of the flatbed trailers, or if you have to have your neighbor help you lift it into your truck, if you happen to have a truck, exponentially increasing your risk of physical injury both to yourself and your expensive machine. You also have the cost of fuel and additives to run it. In the spring, you have to drain the gasoline out of the tank, which is literally money down the drain. Well, not literally, because you have to find a place to dispose of the combustible, dangerous, and oh-so-environmentally friendly fluid. Otherwise, you risk running afoul of the EPA, not to mention that due to the two-stroke oil and additives, you generally can't use the fuel for other machines you may have. Or, if you don't dispose of it, you have to treat the fuel over the summer so it doesn't damage the machine via rust and corrosion. And even if you do all of these things according to manufacturer specifications, on top of that money pit, they're very loud and difficult to use, especially for older folks or people with smaller frames. And if you've ever had the luck I've had, more than once, it's not started at all and always at the worst possible time, which basically amounts to wasted money. Whew. Talk about an index of inadequacy, all to use something a handful of times a year out of necessity because until now, nothing else was available to take its place. Same thing with the giant hand plow. The problem is most hand plows only work on driveways and parking lots because they're too wide and clunky for house walkways, which is what the majority of people would use it for. Not to mention they too are expensive. Sometimes hand push plows are two to three and even four times more expensive than a standard snow shovel for something with extremely limited versatility that's still subject to wear and tear, and then you have to find off-season storage for the monster unit just like you would a snowblower. Then, to add insult to injury, both physically and ethereally, you also need a regular shovel just to do the sidewalks, porches, and other smaller areas around your house or business. The Splow cures all of those woes. The Splow is great for anyone on a budget, anyone with mobility issues. <laughs> mobility issues. Anyone who would like to have a snowblower but can't afford one or doesn't have room for one. It's great for small businesses which have to do their own snow removal. It's also great for landscaping companies. It's great for municipalities, for taxpayer savings to Mr. and Mrs. John Q. Public. It's also great for landlords or the tenants in charge who do the snow removal during the winter months. We're even developing interchangeable blades with directional snow push patterns for even more specialized uses. Don't throw away your money with expensive machinery. Don't throw away your money with expensive, single-use, space-gobbling monstrosities. Don't pollute the environment with carbon emissions and chemicals. Don't keep spending your hard-earned money on standard, or shall I say substandard, snow removal devices that either wear out or fade and simply break in a few years. Pledge your vital venture capital towards something with replaceable parts that will make your life easier. The best part about shoveling is when it's done. A shovel and plow all in one, the Splow, the most versatile, eco-friendly, and economically friendly snow removal product on the planet. Don't be left out in the cold. Get one for yourself today. Billy Mays and Rick Springfield, eat your heart out.